Hello, my name is Arnav. I'm Rashab. I'm Kaden. And I'm Arush. And this is the FOMO app. So, have you ever sat in a class and heard everybody talking about an event that you missed? Well, freshmen on campus have this problem because there's so many resources and so many platforms that they don't know how to use optimally, such as Instagram, GroupMe, and Facebook. Our proposed solution to this issue is our application FOMO. FOMO serves as a platform that aggregates user feeds from various sources, enabling them to efficiently discover events happening directly on campus. The app also allows users to RSVP directly to these events and seamlessly add them to their calendars for future reference. FOMO includes several key features, including easy to use navigation, intuitive posting, and simple understandable UI. On the left, you can see our er, host an event form, and on the right, you can see our homepage showing all of the events happening on campus. So app technicalities, the main coding language we used for front end was React Native, which was from Node.js. We also used AWS, which is Amazon Web Services for the back end. We used Amazon Amplify for authentication and DynamoDB to store our data. One of the biggest challenges we faced while developing the app was having an issue connecting the front end with the back end. It took us over 19 attempts with different errors happening every single time before we were eventually able to resolve the application and get it to work seamlessly. Now let's transfer and show you guys the app. If you're greeted by the app, you're greeted by a sign-in page where you can easily sign in where there's a create account button, which has user and email authentication. When you click sign in, we are then greeted by the home screen where we can easily see the events on screen. We can access an RSVP to an event by clicking the go button. These events that we click the go button will now show up in our events page where we can easily see which events we have and which we have events we're not going to. For example, if we wanted to cancel, say, the Easter party, we can cancel that and make sure that we know that we didn't have time for that event. We can then go to the event creation tab. We can easily create a new event. For example, we have to celebrate Kaden's birthday. So you can write birthday for Kaden. After this, we can post the event and easily see the event for future reference. We can then go over to the user page where we can see past events, future events, that we would want, might want to want to attend, events we've hosted, and our own rating. For example, if we were to click on a specific event, we can see details about that event. Thank you.